Hello and welcome back to the art room with Mr. Today we're going to be working on a fall seasonal uh, project that involves lines and shapes and all kinds of fun stuff and pumpkins. Who doesn't love pumpkins? So let's switch over to the camera. We're going to work on the background first and then we'll talk about the pumpkin. Let's go check out what we're doing in the background. Alright, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start with an, an orange piece of paper. And we need to find some warm color markers. So warm colors are colors that make us think of hot things, like um, the oranges and yellows and reds. Uh, browns also count. Any any kind of brown or red or orange. All these colors for people that work. More red and there's a pink. Pink is a light red, and I'm gonna. These um, have a little bit of purple to them, but I'm going to count those as well. This is a red purple, and this is uh, raspberry, which is a dark red with a little purple in it. So any of those are fine. We don't want to use any blues, greens, or like purpley purples. We want all warm colors because those are, fall colors are generally warm colors, and so this is going to be a warm color project. And uh, the reason why we're using orange paper is because the marker ink is kind of see-through and so we want to be able to see the orange through these colors and it's going to give it a nice warm uh, an even warm tone for a color so um, when it comes to lines um, you have the option of uh, doing any kind of lines on this background that you want with these markers um, I think for this example I'm going to do wave lines so just pick one and stick with it for the, the, the whole background and what we're going to do, just pick a color, and we want to tie our background up with lines. Now to get nice thick lines, we're going to use the, the wide tip of the marker. So when I press down, let me show you an example. We, we don't want it to be straight up and down with our marker, that gives a, a skinny line. We want it to hold our marker sideways. And look how thick that line is. That's what we want. We, just, we want nice thick stripes of color. So I'm going to start on one side. I'm going to hold my paper while I do this so it doesn't move. And I'm not going to start right on the edge because I just think this will work better. So I'm going to do a wavy line. I'm moving kind of slow because that way the ink has time to flow out of your marker. So wavy line all the way down. I'm going to change colors to do some kind of different color. Let's go with orange. And even though the orange paper is on the orange paper, it still shows up. The yellow is not going to show up very quickly. have some light colors in there too. So see how now I've got these two stripes of colors. We're going to do this with the whole thing. I'm going to do that time lapse and save time. All right, so now we have a beautiful fall colored background for our project. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Then we're gonna get a smaller piece of paper. In class, I'm gonna have orange and yellow available. Again, we're gonna do the same thing again color-wise. We're gonna put some warm colored markers on top of a warm colored paper. And orange could look good. Um, I've already got another example I'm gonna show you where I did orange, so I'm gonna do this one yellow just to see how that looks. So, first off, we need to make a nice, big uh, pumpkin. So, I'm going to draw a pumpkin, we're going to draw a big, fat ripple. Take up most of your paper. And we're going to stick the lines at the top. And then over at the top. Then, I'm going to have a, an oval. 
it goes up and down. So it's round at the top, straight down, and then it goes a little bit below my big oval. So yeah, so we've got a, a tall skinny oval in the middle of our big oval. I'm going to start here at the corner, and I'm going to try to go left, right down, right at the bottom, and try to back in the middle. So what we're doing, I'm going to stop here, I'm going to actually try this back to the skin. I'm going to flip up, come around, go back towards the foot, do that one more time, straight edge. A bump here and a bump there. Same thing on the right. Up, down, all the way to the bottom of our oval. Oh, because we want the bottom to be bumping up. Maybe that's why I'm going below the line. Same thing again. Just push it off. Another one. Just push it up again. Just a bump here and a bump there. And that's for dealing with pumpkin. So I'm going to get my eraser and erase the lines that are definitely not where they need to be. This line will come inside this. Alright, so now we're going to color this marker uh, with markers. Um, use a variety of colors just like you do in the background. Uh, you can use any of those colors you used on the background. Um, let's feature a lot of orange, but not just orange. And in the, the let me just show you real quick. So I'm going to do some orange in this section here. I'm going to leave the outside yellow for now. So every section should go from light to middle to dark. Pick a red. I'm going to do a red right here in the middle. That way it looks kind of shadowed. I'm going to take the yellow. The yellow on top of my yellow paper. So, it's from light to middle to dark on each section. You don't have to use those same colors. You can mix up some other colors. I'm going to try to get creative with mine. Let's go to time lapse for time saving. Last thing we're going to do on this pumpkin is, I uh, know it's not like overlap a lot, but I do is um, like a dark purpley uh, red, and then some red, and then this uh, green color works really well for blending, uh, the yellow works really well for blending, um, but there's lots of overlap uh, with that color. Now you're going to take a brown. A lot of times in art class we use a black for outline, but for today, since we're trying to keep everything nice and warm colored, I'm going to outline everything with a nice thick brown outline. But I'm going to cut that out, and then we'll glue that onto our background. Let's do the uh, tracing and the cutting out in the timeline. All right, so now we have our two pieces. We have our background that we did with whatever line pattern you wanted to do. And then we have our cut out beautiful pumpkin. And I just have to say, I love how this turned out. The, the bright yellows because of the yellow paper, um, that worked really well. I love that. 
and I like how the background on the orange paper has more of a kind of a subdued color. It's very beautiful, but it's kind of muted. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to either glue our pumpkin on top like this, or you can turn your paper sideways and do it that like that. I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, my pumpkin is kind of wide, so I think sideways looks better. So I'm going to uh, glue that in place um, at a later time. And yeah, let's wrap this up. And here it is, our finished project. Um, I, I didn't actually glue it on there yet because I want to use it for an example in class and be able to show uh, the students individually. But here's my other example that I did first when I was trying out the idea. And so this is the, uh, this pumpkin is on uh, orange paper. So as you can see, it, it doesn't stand out quite as well as the, the one I just did on yellow paper. I like it, but I like the orange paper better, or sorry, the yellow paper better. So that's what I'm gonna, gonna go with. Um, so anyway, uh, yay, warm colors, it's fall. Uh, let's enjoy having fun with line patterns and shapes to make our pumpkin. And hooray for art, hooray for fall. Hope you have a great time. See you next time in the art room.